Next thing I want to do on this Ducati project is make my own rear sets. These are the stock ones. They're not very good. They're made out of cast aluminum. They're not very sharp, so your feet move around a lot while you're riding. Uh, they don't really have a big burr on the end for you to really plant your boot in. And I think we can make one a lot better. So first things first, I'm going to go into Fusion 360, draft up some, some parts of what I'm, what I'm thinking it's going to look like. Then we'll transfer that to some aluminum, get fired up on the mill, and start making some cuts. All right, let's do it. Okay, so now we got the part all laid out on the aluminum, got it nice and blued up, got the outline of what it's going to be on here, and I center punched roughly where all the holes are going to go, And but I'm still going to put it on the mill and find my top right corner here, and then precisely move the, the cut to where it needs to be using the DRO. So let's get this chucked up in the mill and start making some cuts.
All right, so I just finished the rear sets on the mill and I'm pretty happy with how they came out. I'm not gonna lie, that took a lot of time, but I learned a lot doing it. And you know, uh, for a first big mill project, I'm pretty happy with how they came out. Uh, they're functional, they look really good. Uh, they got about an inch of adjustability front and back and top and down. So, you know, I can adjust my feet where I want them. And you know what, there are some mistakes, but I did a pretty good job hiding them. This is the shifter side. I still have to tap this hole and mount up the shifter, which, you know, now the shifter doesn't look too good. So I might have to make one of those too. On the brake side, looking pretty good. Uh, didn't shoot any video making the foot pegs, but those were done on the lathe. Also had a 6061 aluminum. Pretty happy with how they came out. I think they look really good.